Welcome to class seven of the fundamentals of energy, how to clear and charge objects. Throughout life, you may have seen certain objects and something felt off about them. You may have picked them up and dreaded using them. Over time, objects accumulate negative entities and energies. And the reason you were feeling this is because you were sensing these entities and energies in the objects. In this video, I will teach two different techniques for clearing and charging objects. The previous Fundamentals of Energy videos are the foundations for these, so I recommend you do them first, as, this, as doing those will make this much easier. You can clear and charge almost any object, the exception being something created with malicious intent or something created out of something negative. But you most likely don't have many of those lying around, so don't worry about that for now. So just go ahead and pick an object. It can be a crystal, a necklace, your wallet, your keys, your bed. I don't recommend starting with something electronic, especially a phone, as that can be much harder to start with. So you can pick something simple like a pencil or something complex like your pirate ship. Just pick something and you'll use it to practice these techniques on. To start with, I'm going to teach the basic one, which is Sean Chai's techniques. This is how to sense an, the energy inside of an object. What you're going to do is you can either put the object down on a flat surface or hold it in one hand. With the other hand, you're going to hold your hand over it, put your hand on it, and just see if it feels any different. You may feel pressure, a magnetic pull, tingling, warmth, or coldness, and that is how you sense the energy of an object. It's quite simple. As you practice, it will become more and more obvious, so if you're not feeling anything, don't worry about that for now. In order to charge an object with the basic way, what you're going to do is take the object in two hands and picture your energy coming out of your body and into the object. As it's going in, you can picture it becoming brighter and brighter, that can help. Now, you're going to pick what you want this to be used for. If you want it for protection, you can picture the object being made out of fire or lightning shooting off it. If you want it for healing, you can picture silvery petals coming off and going into you. The intention is completely up to you. Now, over time, your arms will begin to feel sore and tired. This is completely normal. Stop for today and continue tomorrow. In order to stop, because you might be a little worried, just gradually picture the energy coming to a stop from your body and arms, and that's it, that's stopping. Over time, you may feel the object beginning to resist you. It might begin to push back. This is because with this technique, you've charged it as much as you can, and now you can move on to another object. The basic way for clearing things is quite easy. Just how with vampires, when they went in the sunlight, caught fire and exploded, sunlight kills negative entities. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your item that feels a bit off and put it on a sunny windowsill or somewhere in your house that receives direct sunlight and leave it there for a few days. And over time, it will gradually begin to feel better. Now onto the more advanced technique. I will teach clearing first. What you're going to do is you're going to picture the object in your mind. You may see some entities and entity realms in there. Go ahead and picture your sword and begin just cutting them up and erasing them. You may see some objects or normally spheres for me. Go inside the sphere. This is an entity realm. Run through and cut through them until you find the core of the realm. You may find a boss entity guarding it. Don't worry, nothing can harm you here. Go ahead and erase him and then erase the realm and that realm will be cleared. Go, just go through your item until you see no more entities or entity realms. Once you've done that, flip it over in your mind. You'll often be surprised because there'll often be quite a few things also hiding on the back as there were on the front. That's completely normal. Go ahead and erase those two. If you feel something's off but you cannot see anything, go ahead and use your imagination. Your subconscious will fill in the blanks here. So if you feel snakes or lizards, octopuses, merman, aliens, whatever you see, go ahead and erase them and this will help clear your object. And now for charging your object, if you've done the shield video, this will be quite easy for you. What you're going to do is picture a core of energy inside of your object. You're going to picture it becoming larger and larger. You can picture this becoming brighter as well, but don't make it too bright as you want to be able to see what's actually going on in there. With the intention, it's completely up to you if you wanted to put a shield around it. And what I would do is just picture a shield and then stick it to the core. That way the shield will move around with the object. You have fun with the intentions, play around with it, there's no really wrong, wrong way to do this, so long as you keep it positive. If you're having trouble with your current object, go ahead and try another object. If you're trying with your wallet and you have a kind of traumatic memory towards it or you found it in a crypt, this can be harder than using a, an object that's new or an object that 
hasn't been around so much negative energy. If you're having trouble with that, picture the core outside of the object and picture it gradually entering into the object. Oftentimes there will be negative energy and entities in there that you're just not seeing and they're knocking your positive core out as they don't want to be erased. There's no real wrong way to do this. So as you practice this, you will gradually be able to charge things with both techniques much faster and make them much stronger. Over time, with the advanced weight, you may feel that it's full You can and see the core hitting the edges of the object. Picture the core shrinking down but becoming more dense and having a quality of change. This way you can continue putting more energy into the object. Now with the core, just like the shield, you can picture it in your mind and say aloud, or in your mind, the intentions of your thoughts. You can picture them being written in there and you can picture multiple, you know, you can picture as many intentions as you want really. I recommend you put a shield around there if you're going to put a lot in. Um, some people may worry that entities will target your objects. That's very unlikely, especially if you've put a shield up, so don't worry about that. And that is class seven of the fundamentals of energy, how to clear and charge objects. Thank you for watching.